Hello and welcome to Financial Education for the Nation. Today, it's time to get serious about your money. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't already know, things are getting serious when it comes to our money. Inflation is at the highest for 40 years. Interest rates are rising in an attempt to curb the inflation, meaning our mortgage payments on debts are costs are rising. Energy and fuel prices have increased, and we can expect a further rise in our electricity bill in October, perhaps January, just when we'll be using our lights and our heating more. We've seen a rise in taxation with the introduction of the health and social care national insurance levy, meaning many of us are actually taking home less money each month. It's tough out there and we are all feeling the pinch. Therefore, it's essential you know your numbers. Money isn't as complicated as you might think. In clarity gives us the ability to make better decisions and live the life that you want. We can't put our life on pause just because the economy is out of whack. I often to refer as Ali. I refer to Ali as every financial planner's best friend. Assets, liabilities, income, and expenditure. And the hardest step is the first one. So where should we begin? Get financially well organized. Start by working out what's coming in and what's going out. If you're struggling fin financially or anticipating, you soon will be. It's easy to bury your head in the sand and ignore the problem. It's also the worst thing that you can do. List out all of the money that's coming in and all the money going out every month. Some online banks can help you automate this process for you. So you know where you stand. You might even find direct debits for things that you stopped using a long time ago. Also remember, look through your credit card statements. Regular payments made on credit cards can often be missed out when you review your expenditure. Make sure you include these as well. Next, look at where, what you owe and what you own. If you're outstanding any debts, write these down. Make sure you're on the lowest interest rate you can get by contacting your credit card providers. It's very likely we'll see more interest rate rises, so borrowing costs will increase. You could take this opportunity to review the mortgage market as well and consider fixing your, fixing your mortgage to get a better deal. Finally, don't forget to organize what you own and also include companies and pension schemes that you've got with um, different providers. Next, go through each item of expenditure and ask yourself three things. Do I want this? Do I need this? Can I get a similar experience for less? Unless you plan on relying for savings, you simply have to have more money coming in than going out. If you're taking a financial hit at the moment, that might mean making some tough choices, some cuts. You know, does your TV subscription need maybe downgrading? Uh, the phone upgrade, maybe that can pause and, and wait a little while. Also consider reviewing your energy bills and your fuel costs. I personally have looked at fixing my electricity plan um, and using a tariff that offers me a discount or lower rate in the evenings. This is when we've agreed to put items like washing machines and dishwashers on, and we've invested in a timer plug that automatically switches on when the discounted rate applies um, to charge all our electronic devices. Remember, this period isn't forever. It's to get you through this uncertainty while the economy, until the economy is back on an even keel. At the same time, think about ways you can improve your inflows, your earnings. Think of the likes of eBay and Facebook. It's never been easier to sell unwanted items online. Even Bella, my 15 year old daughter, sells her unwanted clothes on Vinted and Depop. I'm sure you can too if she can. If you're on modest income or you've lost your job, have children, it may be worth checking that website called entitledto.co.uk to check your eligibility for any benefits. It's a great resource that may surprise you. You could also consider any online training or upskilling you could do to improve your salary in the future or return back to full-time education using the advanced learner loan. Go to gov.uk forward slash advanced dash learner dash loan. If you already have a skill, you could consider a side hustle in selling your skills online using sites like Fiverr or Upwork. Armed with this information, you can improve your financial situation and make it through this storm. You may decide to carry on with your new financial habits in the future. 
and this will build your future lifestyle. They say more millionaires are made in a recession. Now, I don't know if that's true, but if it is, it's probably because they have started with frugal money habits and kept these when the economy recovered. Armed with this information, you should be able to survive, and maybe even perhaps thrive through this challenging period. This time will pass. But please remember, subscribe and like this show and it helps me reach more people like you. Until next time, stay safe. My name is Warren Shu, and this is Financial Education for the Nation. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. There's a great number of back issues to go through and remember, what makes us different on your financial journey is the support with access to downloads and templates on warrenshoot.com, the YouTube videos and podcasts, as well as access to me, a multi-award winning certified financial planner and certified international coach. So please do engage and let's get your finances sorted together.